And now for today's Bible question. Today we saw that Jesus was not honored in his hometown, but was sought out by many others who recognized his powers to heal. We learned how his disciples were to trust God for their supplies while they were serving God. We learned about Jesus' power to provide food and to walk above the waves of the sea, and we saw how John the Baptist was tragically executed for speaking the truth. Someone might ask the question, should I serve God and preach righteousness if it means I could be hurt or even killed? John the Baptist was tragically killed by Herod because of the request of Herodias' daughter and because he did not want to look bad in front of all his guests. It did not seem a very good reason to take off the head of a righteous man, and it might make some of us fearful to speak up for God. John had spoken against the adulterous relationship between the king and Herodias. This infuriated the wicked Herodias, for she did not like to be publicly shamed by John's preaching. But John was only speaking the truth. John had to be a brave man to speak so openly and boldly against the king and his sin. For the king certainly had power to do harm to John if he wanted to. When any of us decide we want to be faithful to Jesus, then we must be willing to stand against what is evil, even if that means standing against those who are higher in authority and power. Yes, this might be very costly. Do not expect that when you speak out against someone's evil behavior that you will not suffer for it. People who do the right thing and speak the truth can expect that the world will hate them and may even try to kill them in some circumstances. If we weigh out the consequences, then perhaps we might conclude it is not worth it to fight against sin and sinners if they have power to hurt us or kill us. However, when we look at it from God's perspective, we shall realize that we do not need to fear what man can do to us. The worst any man can do to a Christian is send him to see Jesus a little sooner than expected, and that is not so bad. For the Bible says to be with Christ is far better than staying in this world. Jesus said that if the world hated him, that it would hate his disciples also. So those who want to follow Jesus should anticipate some suffering and pain also. Jesus went to the cross to wash away the guilt of our sins, and we should also be willing to suffer in order to join in God's fight against evil and sin. If we serve God in a proper manner, then we will find that some of the things we say and do will not be popular with the people. It is never nice to deal with sin, but the honest servant of God must tell people plainly that their sin is wrong and will be judged. I recall once having to deal with a situation where I saw someone disobeying the Word of God. I was somewhat fearful to confront the individual unless I should offend them. I talked with an older Christian man about it and he said to me some wise words which I will always remember. He said, The Word of God offends. Anyone who preaches the truth of God's Word will offend some people, especially when it cuts across their pride, their reputation, or their money and security. The Word of God is not meant to make us feel good about ourselves and make us content in an evil, sinful world, but it confronts us with sin and calls us to repent and trust in Jesus to save us. How about you? Have you admitted to God that you are a sinner? Have you humbled yourself before God and accepted His remedy for your sin? Call upon Jesus today to save your soul, and you will find forgiveness from God and a home in heaven. Yea, and all that live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 12